What's going on guys? So today we're going to be watching this video, The Science of Bushfires Explained. And this is uh, in Australia. So bro, let's actually see how the fire actually spreads and things like that. I mean, bushfires are a problem, you know, like they can spread with wind, like bad weather, like mainly wind, I would say. But let's see what else there is. I don't really know. So yeah, maybe like animals can also spread this in some way i'm not really sure but yeah i think it's gonna be a good one either way so guys like the video subscribe to the channel and let's get on with it let's see what we got here getting longer since the 1970s fire weather seasons have been starting earlier and becoming more intense abnormal fire potential is currently predicted for large parts of southern australia like hang on a minute like bro in my, in australia like there's a lot of desert you know like a lot of land here which probably people don't really live there so like how do people actually see if a fire happens somewhere like around here where there's no population i mean damn bro right i don't know potential is currently predicted for large parts of southern australia about half of all fires are caused by lightning lightning that's another way that lightning can like be caused and since there's a lot of forest and things like that if like lightning directly strikes like a bush bro then good luck right the rest deliberately or accidentally lit to take off fire needs oxygen heat and fuel Strong, gusty winds not only fanning flames, but providing more oxygen. A doubling in wind speed causes fire to spread four times as fast. Look at how fast that spreads. Honestly, it's, it's crazy seeing this sort of stuff. Bro. Fire just spreads so quickly. Fire travels more quickly up a slope than down. OK, that makes common sense, yeah. The that more makes steep sense. the slope, the faster and more intense the fire. Makes sense. Making the riskiest place to build a house on top of a hill. But it's ember attacks that cause nearly all structural damage. Ember attack is the most common way houses catch fire during a Ember attack? I don't really know what an ember attack is. Hopefully bush fire. Find out. Ember attack occurs when small burning twigs, leaves and bark are carried by the wind, landing in and around houses okay. and their gardens. Okay, I see. In Yalu, in 2016, 160 homes and two lives were lost. The town. Oh my goodness, bro! Is that is that also from an ember attack? Geez, 160 homes. That is, that is just like too much, man. Too much. Hit by an ember storm. The fire generated a smoke plume 14 kilometers high. 14 kilometers high. That is, that is a lot, bro. That is a lot. Punching into the stratosphere and created its own thunderstorm, generating lightning and sparking really? more fires. Does that actually happen? Eucalyptus trees, which dominate the landscape, can be extremely flammable. Stringy bark can act like a ladder, carrying fire into the canopy and producing masses of embers. Yeah. Their fragrant oil, much like... That, that is a bad thing when having fire, wind, these small twigs and stuff, bro. They just fly and literally spread it like crazy. Any oil adds to their flammability. Vines are also great ladders for spreading fire. Just as we did decades ago, firefighting is still done by people. Many of them are volunteers. And as bushfire seasons extend... Yeah, a lot of people do volunteer, like, they see a fire, bro. They want to save the, the land, the houses, the village, everything in general. It's a shame, like, to have, like, the forest around your neighbourhood getting burned down because, like, you'll never see that again, you know? It takes hundreds of years for like trees to grow to their max again so i can understand why people actually go and volunteer i would do the same but yeah and particularly in fire prone areas those resources will be further stretched wow what a great video bro 
more great video. Guys, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. I mean, honestly, that was that was something, bro. So fire is it's not a good thing. We all know that. Anyway, guys, thank you for making it till the end. If you did make it here, do not forget to smash the like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Join our Discord community. And let me know, guys. Suggest videos for me to actually react to. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day. And peace out, guys.